Alrighty, traders, George here, and time for a look at the week ahead. Uh, it's Labor Day, traditionally a time where we make the push to the final uh, end of the year. This year, very, very unique in that we've already seen a huge sell-off in the equities and at historically large uh, ranges. We've never seen anything like this. That could be a nod that we might be in for some more uh, curveballs coming up here. But nevertheless, the push is on for the end of 2015 now, and this is what I'm looking at. All I'm going to show you is some stuff here on the, the NASDAQ. I'll keep this video short. Uh, keep in mind, live room starts tomorrow. Use the link at the bottom of the video. Get in there. You can watch some day trading and some more big picture analysis like this. But for this NASDAQ uh, analysis here, keep in mind the last video from last week's look ahead. The trade scenarios I showed you hit four out of four times on the NASDAQ and brought over 240 points to the table, over 120 of that from the long side, which is fantastic when you consider the news that's out there to find long setups that are doing that kind of work. Gotta love that. So for the balance beam model here, what I'm looking at are a lot of the same key price points. We're at 4194s. We've gotta move up or down 30 points to either get to 4225 or 4165. That means following price up to those levels to get long or down to these levels to get short becomes less attractive because of how much room we have to go just to hit those levels. If we are going to make it up to that level, 4225, watch for a reset, which means move it to your five minute chart and use a fib dot break to the upside for balance beam traders. And that will then be your continuation long signal. And likewise to the downside for 4165s, look for the reset on a five minute fib dot break and you're good to go. Now we could also see a bounce from those extremities to come back in and you can use your five minute fib dots to do that as well. I'm not going to get into that here because I want to keep this video short, but these key price points are going to dictate where the big moves come. So ultimately, you want to be long over 4225s. Watch 4260 on route to 4300. At that point, a fade will take us back down to 4225s via 4260, or we're going to go up and clear 4320s and make it up to 4400. To the downside, we break below 4165s. We could see an easy 30 point drop to about 4100. Watch 4120 uh, on the way down. This balance beam here, a lot more dense than these little guys up here. So 4100 top line, 4050 center, 4030 floor. It takes a good 70 points down just to break the floor. But if we do that, we could see a much more significant sell off that could see us undercutting just about the swing low that we put in on the spike low here and getting down to about 3900. So those are the main directional things to watch. I put these arrows in here to help your eyes see where we might find some of that price action. This is literally what set up everything from last week and it absolutely crushed the price action. $4,800 plus just trading one contract on the balance beam. And let me show you a bigger picture view here pulling out to weekly. And uh, here's this massive uptrend coming out of the end of 2011. A well-contained uptrend here broken on a clean impulse to the downside. So that's a real classic move right there. And we're stuck sort of towards the top. So the real question is, are we going to trade sideways? Are we going to retest these highs? Are we going to break down and see some new lows? Big surprise. Those are the three main scenarios. But if we really do make it into a phase two sell off and see some new lows, if you look to the left, this significant balance beam here in the middle of the chart, it comes in at about 3600. This would be the area that I would expect any significant selling to be capped by, i.e. it's not going to break below this zone or if it does it would quickly recover but this would be the key bounce zone to watch on a significant continuation sell-off this happens to come in at about the 382 retrace of this bull impulse the analogous move in the dow comes in lower at about the 618 this also gives rise to the nasdaq finding a higher level of support on a pullback and resuming its bull trend which should be the default master strategy that you look at when you follow these equity market moves. That's the area where most of the traders are going to get killed is if they are onto a second move here and we do break lower, they're not going to cover low enough and they're going to see a lot of their gains erode. Just as I showed you on the move over here, same thing will likely happen there. This would be an amazing spot to then start to look for longs and stocks. We haven't been doing any of that basically for two months because of the reasons I've explained, but all this will start to uh, pan out in the next two weeks or so. Uh, we've got other incredible moves to watch in the U.S. dollar index, gold, oil. Remember, if you're having trouble with your trading, there is a way out, and that is to find the right tools for the job and to get the right coaching. So hop in the live room. You can see me do some day trading. You can see some more 
belief building, some more of this big picture analysis and all the follow through that comes from it. You don't want to be a trader that's on the wrong side of the trade, okay? And you don't want to be taking undue risk. And that's what most traders are doing in an epidemic way. So you don't need to be there. It's a very easy thing to trade the markets with a more calm, relaxed, professional, disciplined approach and simply let the market come to you when it sets up and you're either part of it or you're not with controlled risk and then on to the next trade. Uh, so that'll do it for now, gang. Have a great rest of your Labor Day uh, weekend and look forward to seeing you all back in the live room tomorrow.